Hi, this is Wendy from Wendy's Art. Today I'm trying something totally new to me. Um, I'm going to be trying some little studies using cold wax and oil paint. Now I haven't, oh, it's been probably, oh, let me think, seven, six years since probably I've done a, an oil painting. Uh, I haven't done very many, so it's fairly unknown, <laughs> but um, I have thought I'd just show you what I've got prepared to use. Um, so down here are the paints. I've mixed the paints with 50% um, of the Gamblin cold wax medium. And I have, let me see, they're Windsor and Newton oil paints. Um, let me hold this around here so you can get a better view. So I have Naples Yellow, uh, what's the next one? Payne's Grey, Cobalt Turquoise, White and Gold. Now here I have a mixture of the white and black. Here I have a mixture of the Naples Yellow and Black. Up here is some Naples Yellow with white. Here is some black and the turquoise, cobalt turquoise. And here is some darker black and cobalt turquoise. Over here I have some, uh, what's it called? Um, cobalt turquoise and Naples Yellow. And down the bottom, down here, I have some gold, which I'll save till the end to add on a few um, flourishes. But I thought I'd show you what else I've got over here ready to use just in case. So I've got some oil wax pastels, some scrapers, palette knives, woodies. Uh, over here I've got some, let me see, oh no. some Gamsol in a fine liner and a spray. Um, a piece of wool that looks very textured that I might be able to dangle in. And over here I have some silicon scrapers, some cardboard, um, more scrapers, and a roller and some screwed up deli paper that I'm going to be using hopefully at some stage. So Let's go and have fun with these studies and a new experience for me. Um, I'm really looking forward to having a real fun play with these. Okay, so I'm starting off with my traditional mark making. I love to get some mark making onto the paper. And this, by the way, is canvas paper, but it's okay for oils apparently as well. So as I said, I'm just having a play and divided it into four, trying to keep this tape down. Um, so I'll treat this as one canvas and to start with I've got a graphite earth tones pencil. So I'm just making marks, getting something down on the surface. Oops, we've broken the top, let's use that. breaking as I go, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, so that was that one. Now, I'm going to use some woodies, which are multi-talented pencils. Okay, so as my colours, I want to stick to this palette of cobalt, turquoise, uh, Naples yellow, white and black. So, Let's go with the turquoise. Here it is, turquoise color. Oh, these are nice. They go on really smoothly. So, as you know, I love my mark making. For me, it's the, the most fun part of the whole process. You don't have to think about it. Make some marks and have a ball. Okay. Now, yellow. Again in the woodies. Now, 
some of this might show through in the finished studies, some of it might not, doesn't matter. So don't be too precious with your mark making, just be very intuitive and just do what you feel like doing. Just let the pencil go where it wants. Okay, now I'm now going to bring in some coloured charcoal. It's very sharp, so I'll be, try and be careful not to, to break it. Okay, very fine lines this one. Getting stage one done, just some marks on the background. getting to the end of my mark making. I'm really excited to have a go at the, the paint now. Okay, so, all right. So what I'm going to do is using a spatula. I think I'll start, uh, let me see. Actually, I'm going to start with this scraper and give it a go. I'm just trying a few new scrapers today. All right, so, what I might do is get a bit of dark on there to start with. So this is the, oh sorry, I made a mistake before. I didn't choose black. This is Naples Grey. I decided to go with that instead of the black. Starting with the paint very thin and I'll build up the amount of paint and the thickness in further layers. Just trying to use up the last of that paint on there. So, use a bit of paper towel just to get that off the scraper. And come in with my next colour. Okay, I think I'm going to come in with some grey now.
So the Gamsol didn't really do anything. <laughs> That's okay. I'm just going to use a skewer just to make a few marks through the paint. scribble mixed up a bit more paint so now I'm about to start the next phase I'm going to try using one of these little bits cardboard scrapers just to see how they go this is something different seeing as we're experimenting let me just clean my palette knife I have plenty of paper towel on hand because you'll be using it all the time saves having to clean oil off brushes, so I, I like this idea, quite good. Okay, all right, so I've got this pretty pale green. So let's start with that. So now I've finished adding that second layer of colour and I'm just scrunching up a piece of deli paper, um, picking up a small brayer, just placing the scrunched up deli paper on top and just pulling some of the paint underneath and, and adding a bit of texture to it. Um, I suspect it might work better with tissue paper because it, it will screw up a little bit better and probably make a few better marks, but um, overall I was happy with this how, how this went. So I'm just laying it down in various places, trying not to muddy the colour, so trying not to spread the colours around too much. But it does make an interesting texture. Um, and for those of you that love texture as much as I do, it's a really nice, easy way to add it, add it on. But I think next time I'll try a bit of tissue paper. trying the Gamsol again, but from memory I don't think it worked again. Um, it has worked since on another piece that I'm doing at the moment, but it's suppo you're supposed to wait for 20 seconds and then just pull it off with a, a palette knife, but I um, couldn't really see anything happening. So now I'm trying the palette knife over where I put the Gamsol down and as I said not much happening. Uh, not quite sure what the problem is. There's more paint there, it's thicker layers. Not sure why it's not working but um, you're supposed to see some texture where the paint's pulled up but yeah it just wasn't working for me yesterday I'm afraid. Um, 
I will try it again but okay so here I'm back with the palette knife and just adding a little bit more color um, it's very easy for the colors to become a bit muddy um, so it's definitely going to take me a bit of practice to get the idea but I'm yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it's going. Uh, just adding a few lights in there. And must be near the end because the gold's come out. So I've kept the gold till the end just to make a few little focus points, um, focal areas, and just to add a little bit of a little bit of bling at the end. The gold went very well with the colours that I chose. I'm just using a stick to make a few little marks and now just a, a cap to make some circles. Okay, so I've removed the white tape and I have to say I'm really happy with them. A little bit muddy, but um, for my first cold wax and oil abstract, I'm pretty chuffed. Yeah, got some lovely textures in there, some lovely combinations of the colours. I've used a limited palette, so it was just the Naples Yellow, uh, Payne's Grey, Turquoise, Cobalt Turquoise and the White. And I just used a little bit of gold just at the end to make a little, little bit of a pop and give a bit of a, a focal point. Um, so I've also just used just a lid off something to make some circles used a chop a chopstick just to draw some little marks and um, i'm pretty happy with those i'll cut them up and probably frame each of those they're, they're really sweet so i encourage you all to have a go i'm certainly going to um, experiment more and build up my skills in this area because i i really enjoyed it it was really relaxing and um, a really great, great way to spend a, a little pocket of time on a Sunday afternoon. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, please like and subscribe to Wendy's Art and I will certainly be bringing you some more cold wax and oil abstract paintings. Thanks for watching. Bye. These are just the finished um, pictures. I thought I'd include them just to let you have a bit of a close up to see how they turned out. As I said, I was pretty happy with them. Um, what I'm going to do is actually frame the four of them together with a single mat board to go between the, the four paintings. Um, so I might add a photo of that once I get that done. Um, and here are just a few photos of the paintings enlarged and framed, um, just to give you an idea of what they look like. So have a go, it's lots of fun and I um, wouldn't say easy, but it's very, very much a fun activity. Thanks a lot.